Hey guys, my name is Jade. I'm 22 years old and I'm a full-time content creator that has a few different businesses. You guys seem to really like my how I make money video where I talk about my six different income streams. But today I wanna to show you guys how much I spend in a month because I had a really rough month in the month of May, a lot of emotional spending. I was tight on cash flow. And I just wanna make this video to bring some light that running your own business is not as glamorous as it seems. I'm very privileged and fortunate that this is my career, but there are months where I'm low on cash. For those who don't know, I made a video about this, but I had two late payments from brands in May. And just because apparently you sign a contract that says you'll get paid by this day, sometimes that doesn't happen. And don't worry guys, I have a lawyer. But in the first beginning part of May, I was low on cash money because people were late. I did get paid in the end, but um, you're gonna see my finances reflect such, okay? All right, first things first, I use this planner by Asia Dang called Master Planner to map out everything I spend every week. I don't do this on a company level because there's, there's a lot more to that but like for my personal spending i like to know how much i spend every single day every single week in the first week of may i was going through an ego death i swear to god like i was so uncertain about who i was because i was getting paid late from these brands. Like usually I have a certain amount of money in my bank and that gives me a little bit of security in life, you know? But when I didn't have that amount of money, like it went below the number, I was like, I was struggling like on an ego level. So for food, I spent $79.87 on groceries. I didn't eat out this week. I was really just trying to save money, which I was proud of myself. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, all the money I spent on food is split between me and my boyfriend. So that's why it might be higher than most likely because I live with someone. I spent $84 on shopping. I think this is a part of my like emotional spending side where like I didn't want to you know buy a nice thing obviously because I couldn't I didn't want to put my financial strain on myself but I wanted to buy things that made me feel better so I remember I went to Target I bought a candle that just kind of put me in a better mood they're just small things that made me a little bit happy and uh, things I needed around the house frankly for health slash insurance I spent $379.61 my health and insurance bills are at the front of the month so I spend a good amount paying California insurance it is insane how expensive insurance is in California I grew up, if you guys don't know, in Washington for most of my life. It was most recently. I have like California insurance, but it's just expensive. Like, the lowest premium is $250 a month. I'm like 22, right? Like I don't have that many health problems. Like I've seen people in California spend $1,000 a month on health insurance. So then last category for the first week of May, I spent money on rent and plants and laundry. That came out to $574.31. Normally my rent is $1,400 a month, but like I said, I was, I was waiting on some payments, okay? And I have an emergency fund where I basically set aside three months of my living expenses. So I was supposed to get paid in April, okay, from these two brands. So the first week of May, I didn't want to pull money out of my emergency fund because I thought it would be like any day now, you know? So I got some help from my boyfriend, basically. He paid like $900 per portion of my rent and I paid him at the end of the month when I got paid. I'm mentioning this just because I think sometimes as women, it's weird to ask for help, especially from your partner. I don't know, that's the stigma I grew up in. Like I grew up feeling like you need to be independent to have value. It was weird though, like literally asking for rent that week was really weird. And I had to go through immense amounts of therapy because I was so uncomfortable asking for help, but I needed it at that point. And I think that's okay. So total for the first week of May, I spent $1,118.54. I also put $100 in my savings account. If you guys wonder why I put money in my savings account, even though I haven't got paid, I just believe like no matter what, you should put a certain amount of money in savings. Even if you don't get paid that much, you could put in $20 a week or $10, you know? I put in $100 dollars week because I want to contribute towards my future. All right, second week of May. This is where shit gets more dark. I'm getting stressed, okay? These brands still haven't paid me. I have maybe like $2,000 in my bank, which is a lot of money. I recognize that. But as a business owner, it's not enough to cover cash flow, freelancer needs, taxes, all that stuff, okay? So I ended up pulling, I think about like $5,000 $5,000 for my emergency fund in my bank account so I could cover the things I needed. And that was really rough for me because I spent so long building my emergency fund. I, I literally would fight over toilet paper price difference of three cents. I pulled money from it. Thankfully, I had money, of course. I'm not, not grateful. It's just, again, another stigma where like, I don't know why I feel guilty spending the money that I made and saved up for. All right, so this week I went to Mammoth with a friend of mine and this was really necessary for me because I was starting to like get so much anxiety that I needed a break from my day to day. I needed to go somewhere where I could snowboard and like have a bit more clarity in a different space. And I know a lot of you guys in my last video were saying that it's a little weird that I say I'm broke, but I'm going to Mammoth for snowboarding. And I think you guys are right, it is weird. I think people forget that my work is making content around snow and surfing. So for me, that's like still a part of my work. And second of all, we really didn't spend that much money. I think the main expense this week was the Airbnb, 
which came around to $240 for four nights at Mammoth. $240 of mental health peace versus not spending that money, I think was worth it to me. For food, I spent $266.46. I think I ate out a lot this week because I was traveling, I was at Mammoth. I spent $30.64 on Amazon. In the last category, I spent $313.34 on my car. So total that week, I spent $900. And this week, I also saved $275 contributing to some investments and my savings account. All right, week number three. I'm proud of this week, okay? Because this week I got paid. So I stopped emotionally spending. I stopped having the need to cope and all that stuff. I spent $100 on food for me and my boyfriend. Like I said, this included groceries, eating out. $100 in a week is pretty good for two people. It's pretty good. This week I spent $47.24 on shopping. $17 was from Amazon and $20 was for drinks going out. I went out with my friends to kind of celebrate, finally having some relief. That was really great. <laughs> and I spent $20 on laundry because my apartment complex does not have any unit laundry so we had to pay for laundry all right so that week was $175.29 total that's pretty good I'm pretty happy about that I love not spending money I really do like if it were up to me I would live more I was gonna say I would live more simply but I literally live in California and like the most one of the most expensive cities um so never mind. I don't live a simple life. <laughs> I live a life that makes me happy, okay? Now, finally, last week for food, I spent $205.14. I had a friend visiting me and I just have no self-control apparently when people visit me. <laughs> like I just forget to cook. So I went out to Chipotle, Whole Foods. I went to this like green barbecue. Definitely treated myself a little bit that week. And then, holy shit, I spent $209.67 on self-care. Uh, I got my nails done, which is $30. I got a massage for $90. I went to Ulta, I spent $45 dollars got a beach rental like little bike thing for 37 dollars so yeah your girl spent some coin on herself i also bought a surfboard for a thousand dollars let me explain if you guys don't know i make surfing content on tiktok my sponsors are red bull i work with canon all these cool sports brands and i broke my longboard like a month ago it basically just died on me it, it it couldn't be repaired and even the surf guy was like yo this board needs to go or you have to get a new one so I had to uh, spend money on this board right here. For me, this is a business expense, so I actually wasn't going to include it in this video because I don't consider it a personal expense. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I bought this board because it's, it's literally the most beautiful thing ever. This guy locally shaped it and he's awesome. His name is Tim Olfison and it's called my Jade Board, okay? And I love it so much and it made me so happy, so I wanted to include in this video. All right, last two categories and then we're going to total it up and explain how much I spent the total amount of May. I spent $34 on home, so like cleaning supplies, sponges, stuff for the kitchen and then it was my best friend's birthday this month claire lou so i spent 94 dollars on her gift because she deserves the world Aww. although i would literally buy her the world i can't do that right now financially so i got her a dope gift all right so total i spent 543 dollars and 56 cents that week plus the thousand dollar surfboard which is from another account so i I will include it, but letting you guys know it's separate. And then I also saved $100 towards my savings account. Also, I didn't mention this, but I also spent $900 on paying my boyfriend back. And I spent $2,000 on personal taxes. All right, drum roll, please. The amount of money spent in May was $6,025. Yeah, that's not that bad. I mean, that's normal amount for me, to be honest, but it definitely was a lot higher because of the surfboard um and the travel and everything else but hey i got paid this month so i i can justify actually if you guys were wondering because i think it's helpful to explain so i got paid twenty six thousand seven hundred thirty eight dollars a month and you might be wondering jay that's a lot of money but these are checks that are um owed to me two months ago for work i did two months ago so i didn't get paid for like two months basically so technically it is a really great month in may but i get a little worried because usually when i have a really good month it means i'm gonna have some shitty months following. Honestly, I think the biggest thing that I learned and I feel like you guys should take away from is money shouldn't define your happiness other than covering your basic needs, food, water. I really put a lot of self-worth in the amount of money in my bank account. I think I need to work on that and me and my therapist are working slowly through that, but I'm just trying to find more meaning beyond money. And I'm also trying to find ways to make money that are beyond doing agency work and doing brand deals because they're kind of a little, it's a little hard to predict. So I'm thinking to work on a product or some sort of brand. I don't know yet. I'll actually keep you guys updated because I know that a lot of us who are freelancing struggle with making money and we have to find creative ways to support ourselves and i'm there with y'all like i i know i'm saying some big ass numbers but it is not as glamorous as it seems like i i literally had to spend like five grand on taxes as well this month too i didn't even mention that this is 
All the money I'm saying doesn't even include the freelance costs, my lawyer costs, my accounting costs, my tax costs. There's a lot more to meet the eye. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> if you want to see me keep the lights on, follow me on TikTok, YouTube. Comment below Dharma Nation if you made it to the end because that would be insane. I remember when I was first running on YouTube, I all I wanted to do was make content full time and now that I'm doing it, I'm so grateful, even though there's problems and unfortunate circumstances, I'm still so thankful every day that I get to do what I do today. I love you. Bye. <laughs>